What's up? So I feel like in my videos, the amount that I am shirtless is probably above average. Now that and whenever I do a video where all this glory is exposed, I get a lot of people freaking out about my nipple ring. And people also wonder if it's a real piercing, which I can assure you it is. It was very painfully stabbed through my body over 12 years ago. So since this is one of the hotter topics on this channel, I thought I'd tell you guys the story behind it. Obligatory catch up. I was in high school and I was hanging out on a Friday night with this girl that I was dating. We were kind of just bored, we were sitting around, and I was like, hey, what do you want to do tonight? And she said, let's go get your nipple pierced. And I was like, wow. Totally was not expecting that response. And then apparently I was like, yeah. So we got on a bus and we went to a shop downtown near the Rito Center in Ottawa where I grew up and I got my nipple pierced. Now my parents are pretty conservative people, uh, at least in terms of how they think people should present themselves. And so I knew they would freak out if they found out I had this nipple piercing. So I was like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep it a secret. And I was doing really well. It was about two years that I had this nipple ring before they found out that I had it. And it was when we were on vacation and we were all gonna go swimming. And I was just like, well, I guess today's the day. I remember my dad, just as soon as he saw it, he just like pointed at it and started laughing like he didn't know how to react. But my mom kind of flipped out a bit, uh, definitely was very shocked, didn't want to ever see it again. And this was years and years ago, so I don't think they really care anymore. They realized that it wasn't a sign that I was going to turn out to be some freaky, weird person. Or maybe that's exactly what happened. Fast forward to present day, and there's a small twist ending to this story. It grew out. I had this in my body for over 12 years, and I guess the whole time it was just rejecting it and being like, oh, I don't want this here, and just, and just pushing it out. Just imagine for a second that you're my nipple. It's not your first time, I know. You've lived your whole life in peace and quiet. You have an identical twin. And one day, a strange man stabs you in two places at once, and he keeps on stabbing until those two places meet up, and then inserts a metal ring through you, which then hangs there for a long time. Kind of makes sense if you want to get rid of this intrusive thing in your body. And for over 12 years, you just push. And you, you heal a little bit as you go, and you push a bit more, you heal a little bit. It's pretty crazy, man. Our bodies are pretty crazy. So anyway, now I've got this thing. I don't really know what to do with it, but it was a part of me. It was literally touching me for over 12 years. I've spent more time with this little piece of metal than I probably have with anything else in my life, other than the feeling of complete emptiness in my heart. So if you have any suggestions on what I should do with this, leave a comment. I'm also feeling super bland and naked now without any body modifications, and I'm thinking about getting a massive tattoo. So let me know if you have ideas for that. If you guys haven't heard the new songs I've been posting, please check them out. They're from my EP Youth Mouth, which is coming out on June 25th, and I really think these are just good, fun, summery songs. I think you'll like them. That's all for today. I'm Andrew Huang and we've been talking about my nipples.